This story begins by showing a Yakuza named Nida, suddenly a strange object appears in his house, he presses the red button on it, a girl named Hina appears in that place, she has a very strong telekinesis power. Because he was afraid of her power, Nita was forced to take care of Hina, but he forbade Hina to use her power, Nita even thought of her as his daughter, he took Hina to school, but she fell asleep at school, there she met a woman named Hitomi. At night, suddenly Hina couldn't control her power, she destroyed Nita's house, it turned out that Hina's power was out of control because she hadn't used her power for too long, that's why Nita brought her to work in the forest. The next day Nita was scolded by his boss for not being there when his father was shot, because of that he had to go to the headquarters of another Yakuza group, he went alone, but Hina wanted to help him, and she defeated all the Yakuza in that place, but everyone thought if it was Nita who beat all the Yakuza in that place. This time it was shown another girl who appeared like Hina, she immediately defeated all the thugs, her name was Anzu. The next day Nita's friend named Sab told that if there was a girl who attacked a group of thugs, Nita felt that the girl had the same power as Hina, Nita accidentally met Anzu, he saw Anzu attacking other people, apparently she was looking for Hina, because of that he brought Hina to Anzu's place, they ended up fighting, but Nita told them to play rock paper scissors, they used their strength a little, and Hina managed to win easily, and Zhu wanted to go back to her country, but the red, all which was that her vehicle was damaged, therefore she was forced to stay in that place. The next day there was a rumor that said that Nita already had a child, so he tried to stay away from Hina, because he wanted to be close to another woman, Hina was suspicious of Nita, she invited Hitomi to monitor Nita, they went to a bar belonging to Nita's friend who named Yutako, but no one was there, Hina immediately left, while Hitomi was left at that place, someone else also entered the bar. He thought that Hitomi was a bartender. Because of that Hitomi was forced to become a bartender. Hina met with Yutako, but there was no Nita at the place. They returned to the bar. It turned out that there was Nita. They were surprised to see Anzu who was the bartender. This time it is shown that Anzu is being chased for stealing food. Because now she has no money. Fortunately there is a man named Yasin to help her. He is a homeless person, he takes Anzu to a homeless gathering place, he also teaches Anzu about how to make money, she finally realized that finding money was very difficult, the next day she met Nita, and Nita gave her a lot of money, she was very happy because she finally had money, but the money ran out to pay debts, because of that she was very sad, luckily the other homeless people comfort her. Moving to Hitomi's place, because she is talent, Yutako invites her to work as a bartender, Hitomi is finally forced to become a bartender because she is threatened by Yutako, suddenly her teacher named Matsutani comes to the bar, Hitomi tries to hide her identity, because the drink what Hitomi made was so delicious, Matsutani thought that the bartender just looked like Hitomi. Moving to Nita's house, he said that when she saw Anzu become a homeless person, he also said that Hina would not be able to survive if she became a homeless person, because Hina was lazy, so Hina tried to help Nita with her housework, but she destroyed Nita's furniture. Cause of that Nita became very angry, he kicked Hina out of her house, and now she lives with Anzu as a homeless person, Anzu always takes care of Hina, but Hina is very lazy and can't do anything, that's why she kicked Hina out. And now Hina is alone, she sees there is a band led by Atsushi, Hina wants to help by putting on a magic show, their concert is a big success, but Hina is not happy, that's why she wants to go back to Nita's house. Moving to Nita's place, he begins to miss Hina, because he is afraid that Hina will destroy the city, so he returns home and hopes to meet Hina, he apologizes and gives a gift to Nita, and they end up living together again. This time it shows Hitomi coming home after work, she meets a homeless person, it turns out to be Anzu, she feels sorry for Anzu, so she tries to help her. Anzu invites Hitomi to her house, Hitomi is very surprised to see Anzu is very poor, that's why she made friends with her, so that he could comfort Anzu. The next day Anzu met Hina, she was jealous of Hina playing video games, because of that she worked hard to earn money, she wanted to find broken TV items to sell to junkyards, because they were expensive, she asked Hina for help, she finally found a television, but the television did not sell because it was too old. Then she meets Hitomi. Because she feels sorry for Anzu, she buys a new television for Anzu, Hina also buys a new television, and now Anzu finally has the money to buy video games. 
This time it was shown Hitomi's friends named Takashi and Kengo, they saw Hitomi enter a bar, they also saw Mr. Matsutani enter the bar, they thought that Hitomi and Matsutani were dating, they asked Seo to help investigate Hitomi, and they were increasingly convinced that Hitomi dating Matsutani, but they lack evidence, therefore they will go to the bar, they also invite Hina, they are very surprised to see Hitomi who is the bartender, suddenly Matsutani comes, he thinks if there are other customers who have a face like his student. The next day Nitter brought Hina to meet his family, because Nitta's family was curious about Nitta who was always with Hina, Nitta told that Hina was the child of the mafia that he defeated, because now Nitta made Hina become his daughter, Nitta's family finally accepted Hina. Moving to Anzu's place, Yasin said that if their place of residence would be evicted, therefore they had to move from that place, Anzu was very sad to hear that, but she couldn't do anything, fortunately there was a family who took care of Anzu, she was very sad at first, but the family had comforted Anzu. Family runs a restaurant business, Anzu was very surprised to see the price of food in that place is very expensive, and now she is happy to live there. This time at Hina's school there was an election for student council president, and Hina said if she wanted to become student council president, everyone was shocked to know that, but Hina was very serious, because she was bored at school. She asked Nitta for help to make the text of Turns out that Nitta made the text of a Yakuza speech for Hina. Because of that everyone at school did not understand Hina's words, and she failed to become the student council president. When Hina was at home, she accidentally bumped her leg, so she had to be hospitalized. This time it was shown a woman named Akagura came to Tokyo. She wanted to bring Hina back to her country. She asked Anzu for help, because she was afraid of Hina's power and now she is monitoring Hina from afar, she is very surprised to see Hina become a good girl. The next day Hina's friend named Shinju saw Hina use the power of telekinesis, that's why she asked Hina to be taught how to use telekinesis, Hina wanted to teach it, but she was just pretending, Shinju thought that if she was able to use telekinesis, she would want to show his power to her school friends, but Shinju failed to do it, and she was very embarrassed. The next day Hina met with the Kagura, she said she would bring Hina to home, because of that Hina told Nitta, but Hina was very sad because of parting with Nitta, and finally Hina would return to her country together with the Kagura, but Hina lost the red ball which was the their vehicle, therefore Hina can't go, and she returns to Nitta's house, she is very shocked to see Nitta partying for parting with her. This time it was shown another girl who appeared like Hina, she came to give red balls to Hina and Anzu but was stranded on an island and lost the red ball, she was named Mao, but she did not find way to get out of the island, after a few days living in that place, she decided to cross the ocean. One day the Yakuza leader who was the leader of a Nitta named Ashikawa was sick, because of that he would choose his successor, and it was Nitta who was chosen to be the next leader, but Sab sent the wrong message to his friends, which made the other Yakuza members angry at Nitta, even they wanted to kill Nitta and Nitta thought if he would die, luckily Ashikawa came to the place, he said Nitta is the next Yakuza leader, that's why they all apologized and congratulated Nitta. Hina also congratulates Nitta, but Hina makes a coffin which scares Nitta. This time, Hitomi's mother finally finds out that her daughter is a bartender, so she kicks Hitomi out of the house. Hitomi asked Yutako for help to find a place to live, and they finally got an apartment, but the rent in the apartment was very expensive, Hitomi was confused to get money, then there was a bar customer who offered a job, and now Hitomi did a lot of work and everything worked out, after a few months working, Hitomi became a CEO even though she was still in school, then she brought her mother to her apartment, she was very surprised to see many successful entrepreneurs in that place, she was very proud to see her daughter become a successful girl. This time it was shown a man named Daisuke wanted to make a documentary about Nitta, because he heard rumors that Nitta was a very dangerous Yakuza because he had defeated a group of Yakuza alone, therefore he was going to record Nitta's daily activities, but he saw if Nitta is a very good person, Daisuke gets so disappointed, he decides to edit the video and make Nitta become a villain. The scene shows Hina and her friends are on a mountain, they get lost and can't go back, because of that Hina decides to show her strength, and they finally survive. Three years later it was shown that Mao had become a martial artist in China, but she still hoped to meet Anzu and Hina, then Atsushi came to the place, because he saw Mao had similar powers to Hina, 
he asked Ma to teach the technique martial arts similar to henna. Ma was very surprised to know Atsushi knew henna, that's why she wanted to follow Atsushi to Japan. But the other martial arts members forbade Ma to go, and Ma beat them all. Martial teachers said Ma may go if he was able to defeat the fighting machine, and she was able to defeat the machine easily, then Ma and Atsushi went to Japan. Thanks for watching this video.